Hi everybody, it's Mike Kennedy. It's Thursday of 2022's Wellbeing Week in Law. And I'm on my deck this morning. I hope it works out. There might be some noise, people driving by to the school up the road to drop their kids off. Um, actually, I hope it's just recording. I lost my external camera yesterday. Um, so I'm trusting that the internal one works. I've never used it before, I haven't checked. So I guess we'll find out. Um, how'd you lose your external camera? Well, yesterday on my way to work, as I was getting stuff into my car, I put my cup of coffee, my external camera on top of the car. Uh, when I got to work, had my cup of coffee, there was no external camera to be found. So I assume I left it on the roof of the car and it flew off when, uh, when I drove away. Um, bothered me because it turned out that the meeting was a phone meeting. So I didn't even need to bring my camera with me to work. Um, but I guess the only solace I'm taking in the whole episode is that that camera's last act was the night before when it filmed my making bread video. So I don't think there's a more heroic, valiant, or epic way for a camera to go out than having done that as its last official recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, today's theme, social well-being and how our social well-being is an important aspect of our overall well-being. Specifically, what we're talking about today is the importance of making connections, making being a part of a community, and then within the communities that we're part of, contributing to them and contributing to the others with whom we're connected. Take a look at my sweatshirt. That's a wolf. So the organizers of Wellbeing Week in Law, um, and I'm going to get back to the wolf in a second, trust me, um, have done a good job in the material and it's linked in the blog explaining the importance of communities and they explain it as this when we're part of a community when we're connected with others we feel like we belong whatever community you're you're part of um it gives you a sense of belonging and belonging matters it makes a, it helps our well-being in addition when you're part of a community the other members the community at large it's a support network for you and when it comes to well-being, having a reliable support network is really important. Which gets me back to the wolf. Um, I, a lot of you know, I coached high school basketball for a long time. I was the boys varsity coach at South Burlington. For the past two years, I've helped out as an assistant with the girls varsity team there. The nickname of the South Burlington athletic teams is the Wolves. Um, this year, the varsity girls coach, my good friend Ryan Naven, did something that I thought was fantastic. He started each practice by having a player share a thought for the day. The player had, players had to come up with the thoughts on their own. One player per day, one thought, you know, we just rotated alphabetically through the roster. Thinking about today's, and all the thoughts were great, but thinking about today's themes, today's theme, one thought jumped into my mind. And that was the day that one of our players said this, the strength of the wolf is the pack. The strength of the pack is the wolf. And I think that's exactly what we're talking about when we're talking about being a member of a community that supports us. And then one of the reasons it supports us is because of the contributions we make to the group. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but to me, it just it sort of captures exactly what we're talking about today. Um, now, I'm not going to spend time saying, hey, go find a community to be part of. You all do that very well on your own, whether it's the legal community, or the practice area within the legal community, or the interests you have outside of the law, the different communities that you're part of. What I would like to encourage you to do is think about this. The, when it comes to being part of a community, there are more ways to contribute than just by doing the thing that that community does. If that makes any sense. Like I'm part of the running community. There's ways to contribute to that community more than just showing up for the runs. And that's, that, that's the same thing across the different communities we're talking about. And if you look in the material, the organizers do a lot talking about within your community, have you done two things? One, do you ever just engage in a random act of kindness for another member of the community? Two, do you ever thank the people? the other members of your community. Just thank them for something. And what the organizers point out is that each of those things 
contributes to the community while also contributing to your own well-being. And isn't that easy to send in a thank you note or doing something nice? And it reminded me of one of Vermont's legal professions communities, uh, the bankruptcy bar. It's a great tight knit little community. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm part of it, but I do speak at the bankruptcy bar CLE every year. Judge Colleen Brown, um, United States bankruptcy judge for the District of Vermont retired in February. There's a reception for Judge Brown tonight. Can't make it, I wish I could. Judge Brown sends thank you notes. I will never forget the first time I spoke at the bankruptcy CLE. I don't think I knew Judge Brown at the time um, until that first CLE. When I, a couple days later, get back to the office, there's a thank you note, handwritten thank you note. Not just thank you, Mike, but you know, the whole card was filled with uh, thoughts that Judge Brown shared. And ever since, I've gotten a thank you note every time I speak at that CLE. And I know that Judge Brown does this to other people too, but you know, when, you get, when I received those notes, I was touched and it made me feel like, wow, I felt valued, I felt appreciated. Um, so I think that's a great example of if in a, ways we can, you can participate in well-being week in law by doing exactly what Judge Brown did. You know, whether, you know, you thank somebody else in your book club or the, the people you bike with after work, you thank one of them for something they've done for you or the people in the, the VBA family law community on VBA Connect, one of them's helped you out with a with an issue of law that you were struggling with, thank that person, do something nice for them. Um, it's just so easy to um, give back to the communities we're part of by doing a random acts of kindness or expressing gratitude. And I think those would be great ways for each of us to participate in well-being week in law. And imagine when we, you know, when we start talking about, you know, we do something this week to participate in well-being week in law, then maybe again next week and the week after, so we make well-being a habit. What if a lot of people across all the different little communities that make up the larger community, what if a lot of people started choosing random acts of kindness and expressing gratitude? I think that would go a long way towards improving well-being for all. Um, finally, remember that uh, there are people within the legal community who no longer feel connected to it. They don't have that sense of belonging. They feel like they've lost their support network. We have to reach out to them. If you are one of those people, you are still part of the legal community. Um, we value you, help is available. Um, it's okay to ask for help. If you are not one of those people, you don't need a CLE in learning how to identify who those people are. You know who they are, the people who are no longer connected. Reach out to them, reassure them, remind them that they belong and that they are part of us. Those are my thoughts on Thursday of Wellbeing Week in Law. Thank you to all who let me know yesterday of the things you're doing to participate in Wellbeing Week in Law. I think you're fantastic. I think it's great. And I hope you all have a great Thursday.